Hey there, it's Zonfire here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hi, Burgard. Yeah, last time we took care of Cleavor, gave you a couple options on how to deal with that if you uh, haven't already. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, I think we already have a rank in our Pokedex. No, we don't. Then we'll just head upstairs to talk to the Commodore after picking up that side mission to start with. Ooh, this is a nice quest. We'll probably do this pretty immediately. How much charge? We're at 300, so... Is always nice to have. Okay, we're going to run upstairs. to crouch, dive, and then do the ninja bow thing. I have harbored in the same double points of your exploits. You have successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to this amusement. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team now. I bet you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But thanks are not simple. I've received word there are other Pokemon nobles fallen prey to such frenzies and more emphasis. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That's all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Walmart. Go and join them. Chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it on. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. We got some luck to have come back and run about to face an off against that Cleveland. I dare say Zanfara was well prepared. And she was a quick study on how Cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. Going to work in the Billlands uh, should feel a lot safer now, thanks to you, Lombard. If you want to feel even safer, try making some of these, Benny taught me how to make them. So I wrote out his directions into a recipe. Smoke bomb. Cast a fern leaf and soup put root. And now we need not worry about being mobbed like Booger either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Buildlands our home. Zanfira. I've been waiting for you, Zanfira. My name's Bessa. There's some real important uh, there's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Um this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Sui is in a whole lot of danger. Yeah, there's a big old rift. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic it has come undone and still is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Empire, hear me out. 
I need you to restore the broken suit. I'm gonna just tell him what to do. Everyone else does. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow in it with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, the whole a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the sewage. 107 of them in total. With the odd key stone I gave you, you'll be able to gather all of them. See, normally wisps are invisible, but not to the holder of the odd key stone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just uh, have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about we start with that one? See that flame over hovering over there? Try to touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that one, but we are going to gather all the west down the line. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisp. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisp, I'll give you some rewards. Thanks. I'll wait here for you uh, while you carry out your search. Good luck. See, hairdresser really is, I dare say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Zephyr, the girl who quote Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quote one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. Ah, shucks. I'm Arazu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip. But I came here to talk to your uh, Mr. Commodo. See you around. Okay, so... The Ginkgo Tribe... Guild. So, you can buy stuff from him, and uh, whenever he has sets like this, you usually get a better deal than if you buy them individually. I'm not planning on it. And Thule here, uh, sells you, uh, berries and other stuff, uh, like if you don't want to go through the effort of gathering them, you can just have them uh, take care of it. You there, valued customer. Would you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? Yeah, it'd be nice. That it would. Unfortunately, Tao... Uh, Tao Hao uh, refuses to provide me with any new goods to sell. You won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks I'd do, but I'd make sure it three is played safe. 
quests. We have a bunch of quests available. Hey, sport. Interest uh, you in some uh, target practice? All you gotta do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy pit, easy, fun and breezy. Even got some fun, a uh, fine prizes lined up to give out, depending on how well you do. If you can manage to break 10,000, you'll be in for a real treat, I'll tell you that. If you're up for the challenge, please let me know. I'm usually to be found in the practice field. You're the girl from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. If I ask you to fetch a plant for me, I need to, to uh, use it to make some uh, medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Uh, try asking Anissa uh, from the Medical Corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Okay, let's... I can't cut through here, so... No, you know. You, it's better to be bored than not. Hey, you're in Survey Corps, aren't, ain't you? Just the guy I was looking for. I'm working to make these here fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow. I'm looking for uh, someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, uh, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together after all, right? If, so if you could uh, have a ground type Pokemon, could I borrow it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a Geodude. Geo, do 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 Geodude. Yeah, I'm fine giving up that Pokemon. Wowee, it's turning this gritty old soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? And seems we're done here. What troop? That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with field uh, work a little longer. Just uh, give it a holler if you want to swap out to a different Pokemon for your fine Pokemon. Oh. So you can walk over here and if you want to change it, like a, if you only had one, you could switch it out that way. But I have one. I don't need to do it. Those, uh... Crops still need some time to grow. Keep at the survey working in the meantime. Oh, I guess I already had a thing going. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, looks like everything else. So we're going to go back here up the right side. And uh, then we'll go inside to uh, collect the, the information on where the medicine is. Pokemon too. Oh hey, survey lady. Know what you uh, need to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy Team? Be really smart. No. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you uh, need to have a partner Pokemon. With the great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch Pokemon on my own Sunday, so I've been throwing balls to get uh, my aim spot on. Now I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps, huh? Did you give me five of your Pokeballs? Uh, actually, in between episodes, I did make, like, 32 of them, so... Yeah, sure. I'll give you five Pokeballs. Why not? Some Grit Dust. Oh 
oh my, you. You know, it reminds me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just like as you seem to be. I build that same ore from you as if you could uh, become true friends with Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come by and show me someday. Well, I have a... Wallaba. Let's see if uh, we're friendly enough for your satisfaction. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, uh, so I have a bit of a knack on sensing how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you'd like, I can keep, uh, you can keep coming to show me Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're coming about you. Another rare candy. I have, I have like five rare candies, which I save for later levels, just so I don't. Staying out of trouble, you little shit. Uh, here's the uh, past years where you can switch out your party and stuff uh, in town. I don't remember why I had... Bidoof in the party, but... Oh yeah, it was the Bidoof mission. As you're going around town, you can left-click, or click the left thumbstick. So here you can take uh, photographs with you, your Pokemon. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not you have your poet pitch taken? I completely lost the plot. What would you like to do? Well, let's prepare a Pokemon. Let's go ahead. Umbreon. Gonna change the screen. Light green screen. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Gonna. Purple <laughs> screen. Change the lens. What lens? Nostalgic pill here. Let's take some photos. Change my pose. Over the shoulder. Hero pose. Okay, hero pose. You can't even see my expression because I'm wearing a mask. Direct the Pokemon. Look at these. Pretend to faint. It dead. And then you can start shooting, and then you just press the capture button, and that uh, takes a picture. Yeah, we'll quit taking photos. Uh, you do have to take a picture with this guy, so you can unlock him doing uh, some missions for him to unlock more options in there. So if you uh, want to have more options on your uh, photography stuff, give him a talk.
Yeah, I'm really passionate about fashion. I see, well, I have the duty of making this village more fashionable, too. Let's study fashion together. You're part of the survey program, am I right? Please ask it to you in your talents. I've been told that hippopotas, uh, which can be found around the Kingdom Island, have different appearances based on their gender. I felt like if I was able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Perhaps you could show me both a male and female hippop uh, hippopotas? missions are uh, in an area that we don't have quite yet. So. Oh no, that, that's not true. Uh, ah. Come on. I thought the commission said to talk to someone in the life of the Okay, I guess it's somewhere else. Mission progress. Hmm, so it's come to a person in this one. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become things here. I've received no word from Adam and Arida, but this is something we cannot, we can simply not ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss uh, Arisu. You did well to inform us of Arsenal's situation. No problem. Admin's got time for running our clan and all. Nurse alone is warm and wouldn't uh, even give me the time of day. So the team, uh, Galaxy team, are the only ones I could turn to about this. Nurse alone is warden is uh, Mistress Kabbalah of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow minded. <clears throat> Bound by tradition, I mean. She likely doesn't take time with the outsiders meddling in on her affairs. I have no mission for you, Sampire. I order you to study Ursula and the Crimson Miles. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. The next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Miles. You will find the Pokemon only there to be more fearsome than those in the obsidian buildings. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs without welcome. At your current rate, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your Here's what you need to know. The destination within the Mirelands is known as the Dolisium Ruins. That is where you'll find Ursula's War. Mushrooms, leaf cricket. Need to go turn that in. We need to turn that in. And we will. We're gonna go and gather a, a lot of stuff. Get your geodudes here, I'm giving away geodudes. Need some bar work done? Get a geodude. Need to pick up some plants? Get a geodude. I got geodudes for days. Yeah, I'm here to give you a geodude.
Okay, so we got that knocked out. Did I finish Cricket Talk yet? I'll look at that in a second. We'll go talk to this dude. You're about my opponent at request, right? Glad to have some uh, help at last. Here's the problem. Opponent like no other uh, scene had before has appeared on the Horseshoe Plains. It's so different from other opponent that it's a little scary, to be honest. But when I told Professor, he got all excited about researching it, so uh, we agreed to have Pony to survey to see what that, uh, what's what. If you head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch the strange potent for us, it'd really help us out. Okay. I wonder if uh, it would let us uh, get a Galarian Ponyta, and that's why the Professor was so excited. That'd be kind of cool. Don't know why there would be one here. Try his game. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 be the best of them all. If you match for 10,000 points, you'll be in for a road treat, I can tell you that. What do you say, sport? Up for a challenge? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. I'm only hitting one in the Oh, side angle. I'm good. If it's 100,000, dang. Five balls of mud. 10,000 points. So completed the quest. A great ball and an, a bunch of great balls and some nuggets. Always down for this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Pro tip is just to mark the balls as favorite. That'll put it at the top of the inventory. But now I got all the moves there. Flamewell versus Ember.
Okay, let's go. This is a little bit closer, I think. If not, then I will. So let them stick to sprint. Sprinting is faster than the uh, diving around town. Sent you out searching for a, me a medicinal plant to get you. That'll be our three leaves little hut for them. You know, it doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Of course, she, uh, Shinon will be, uh, get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back here to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, dear. ahead call it an episode here but what i'm going to do in the next episode is we're going to just go straight into the crimson mirelands and play around a bit but uh i hope you all are enjoying this series and uh catch you on the next one goodbye